Hey guys, I just wanted to remind you to watch the whole video today, okay? There's lots of good information that you guys will be receiving and we have noticed that a lot of you guys aren't watching the video from beginning to end. So watch the whole video, there's lots of good info and please refer back to the video that was uh, produced last week, okay? Thank you. Hi, I'm Topher. I'm uh, one of the new supervisors and I'm super excited to work with you guys. Alright, I'm Max Colton. I'm a new supervisor here. I'm excited to work with you guys. This is my third year and uh, I love the Spanish Fork Pool, so I'm excited to help keep it nice and keep people safe. Good morning, lifeguards. Today we're going to talk a little bit about flotation devices. First and foremost thing you have to know about flotation devices is that, is that they are not a substitute for parents. Many parents will come to the pool with their children in life jackets or puddle jumpers or floaties and think that because their child has a flotation device on, they are entirely safe and the parents don't have to do anything and they can sunbathe on the deck. That is entirely false. Many children can drown and will drown if they are left alone with just a flotation device. In order to prevent this, we have a couple of rules. First and foremost is that no flotation devices are allowed beyond the second rope of the pool in the shallow end unless they are accompanied by a parent and they are within arm's reach of the child. Second thing is that, that children can, be a, can wear a flotation device alone if they are behind the second row. Another thing is that flotation devices are not allowed off the diving board. And, fi and finally, no large floaties like large inflatable ducks or whatever are allowed beyond the second row. Anything that obscures your view of the pool. So exclusively life jackets and puddle jumpers are allowed with parent supervision beyond the second row. Okay, so we want to make sure that you guys know when you're coming off of stand, um, make sure that you check for patrons before you leave your area. All of your patrons need to be out of your area before you can leave. And then don't come into the guard room until you've done a garbage sweep. Make sure that you get really thorough all the way around. And if there's time, we want you to go out the front and check along the front of the pool for garbage. Hey guys, it's Ariel. I'm just here for a couple more reminders. Please watch last week's video about the slide um, signals. Um, sometimes we look up there and it just looks like you're dancing because I can't figure out what you're trying to tell them. Or you're just staring down at the person like they can magically suddenly hear you over the rush of the slide. Okay, we need to be really precise with our signals. So not just they can tell what you're saying, but we can tell what you're trying to tell them, okay? Also in the dive tank, please be assertive. You know what the rules are and if you don't, refer back to the other video. And remember that you are the authority. Your job is to keep them safe. And don't be afraid to call for a supervisor if someone's giving you too much trouble. Thanks. Um, okay, staff, lifeguards. A um, few things from management for me today. Today is June 24th. It's Wednesday. Uh, we missed a few of you today uh, here at our um, in-service training. We had a blast. We were doing some speed drills with rescues, working as teams, getting people rescued out of the water by 15 seconds. All right, we can get to them and out of the and their face up by five seconds. So if you missed it today, you missed out on a great, a lot of fun and some hard work. Okay, we want to really stress being a team. Okay, now remember, my main rule here at the water park: when in doubt, pull them out. You are trained as a lifeguard. You know what to look for for a distressed swimmer. If you have any questions, whether they can swim or not, pull them out. If they're breathing and yelling at you, okay, that's great. It's a sign of consciousness. But you never want to have it when they go cold, okay? We don't want to have what happened at Salem Pond on Sunday uh, where a girl wasn't attended and they found her face down and had to life light her up to Salt Lake to primary children's. She is in critical condition. When in doubt, pull them out. Work as a team. If you're leaving your stand, you better be blowing that whistle as hard as you can to make sure that everybody knows that you are going into that water and you need to have backup as quick as possible. You have guards that are in stations close next to you. They can get the backboards. They can go help you make the rescue. We know what we're doing on our EAP. You get there, you get them out, and we save a life. That is what we need to do. You are a team because I guarantee you, if something happens, 
It will be when I am not here. So you are in charge as the lifeguard. You can ask any of the older guards. Everything happens when I am gone. Okay? So you are in charge. So you make sure you know what you're doing and you are with your team. If you miss today, make sure you talk to a supervisor to get passed off uh, because if you were at uh, some of your early morning duties. Okay, with that, uh, we have a few things that have come in. If you would like to buy a Fox 40 whistle, I have got the Fox 40 whistle with the breakaway uh, lanyard. So you can purchase them from the front office for $4.25. That's my cost for the thing, then I'm just gonna extend that cost so we just break even on that. Come and get it. Now, if you are missing a mask that you uh, didn't have when you got first, and it has the child, we have those in. So make sure you come and pick that up. All right, let's talk about some COVID-19 updates here that's been going on in the state. I don't know if you've heard in the last couple of days, but our state epidemiologist is getting really, really worried about us not wearing masks in the workplace. Okay, so when we are here at the water park, we need to make sure when we're out of the water and we're cleaning, we are wearing masks. When we're together, wearing masks. We also need to make sure that we are social distancing. That's a physical distance of six feet. What they are finding is that people in the workplace are not keeping that social distancing and that's where the COVID-19 is really spreading is in the workplace. So we need to do our part here at the water park as lifeguards, management, concession stands that we are wearing our masks and we are covering up and keeping that social distance. We want to keep this park open throughout this time so it does not shut down. This means a lot to our community and to those here and in Spanish Fork to just come down, have it open. It's a summertime activity. The main thing is if it does shut down to an orange, that means we shut down to open public swim. Lessons are done. The only thing then that can actually happen is swim team. And when you look at what we do with swim team, that means as guards, you get one shift a week. And we don't want that to happen. We want to stay open so people can come all the time. That brings us to the next subject here. We have got to be thorough when we sanitize. You're wearing your mask, you're spraying down everything. What we have noticed is when we watch kids, uh, we thought we had everything covered, what we needed to spray down. But when you watch a kid that doesn't know the seriousness of it, they touch everything. So we're talking about the poles, the doors up and down, every little surface they can get on. You have got to be thorough in that. When we do that in between the lessons and in during the day and at the end of the night, we have got to be thorough with the sanitizing, okay? Remember, you guys are in the public eye, right? So they are watching you to see what you're doing. Are you taking the COVID-19 stuff seriously are we keeping it clean <clears throat> so when we go throughout the water park and when you're cleaning at night you have got to scrub ice cream spills you've got to scrub candy spills chocolate spills whatever's out there and then when we have our front gate I know we're hosing down but just spraying water doesn't work you've got to push it so the first things that you do is make sure you sweep up debris and get it thrown in the garbage after that then spray that front area has got to look clean every time even the counters we look in the bushes and make sure that you get into the bushes get the trash out look in other places get things taken care of all right you'll notice that this week on the schedule there has been some orange lines for people that are missing some paperwork you cannot work this week until you have that stuff done. So we have taken you off the schedule so you get it done so it's all ready for next week. All right, so you can't work anymore until that's done. All right, that paperwork, if you live in orange and you wanna to talk to me about it, please come talk to me. I will tell you what you're missing. You should have got an email telling you what you're missing. And if we need to figure out what you filled out wrong, maybe on a W-4 on your online paperwork or some other things, a picture ID has gone expired, Please let me know. I will let help you get that solved, okay? All right? That way, when you get on your time cards, it is correct. So from now on, you should only be punching in and out on the computer, okay? 
Now, we still are needing some lessons and structures. If you can still uh, teach and stuff, please let Christina know. We're trying to figure out for next week for session one. We need you and we want you to be teaching. Lessons start at 9.15 and if you have something in the morning that you finish at 9 and you can still be here at 9.15 and go till 2, we would love to have you if you're not working there, okay? One thing here you have to remember, we work as a team here. The one thing that makes Spanish Fork Water Park great is you. You, the lifeguards, are in the front line. Make sure that you're doing everything you can to make this a great place, whether you're talking to patrons, others, and things like that. We want you to do your best and keep this a great place so we can keep it open all summer. So thanks for listening to this. Here's the key thing. You are going to look for a rock. It'll be painted blue with yellow. First one to find it. Take a picture with yourself and it will get a coupon for a Chick-fil-A chicken strips. Okay, you can text it to me or send me the picture. Okay, first one to do that, we'll get that. Thanks.